7 Chilling Facts About the Real Amityville House 1. The Defoe's family were all found dead in the same position. Television actress Christine Belford stayed in the Amityville Horror House for five years. After this, her parents sold it to the Defoe's. The couple at the Amityville House, Ronald DeFeo, Sr., and Louise DeFeo were shot twice with a Marlin 336C rifle of .35 caliber. But the four kids, Allison, Don, John and Mark Matthew were shot once. It is estimated the entire massacre finished in 15 minutes. The cops found all six of them lying on beds with their stomachs down. What is creepier is that the neighbors didn't hear gunshots and it didn't look like the family members heard them either. The fact that all the victims' bodies looked identically positioned suggests that the killer might have deliberately aligned that way. 2. The Defoe's furniture was present at the home when the Lutzes moved in. According to the first chapter in a book written by Anson, the furniture came with the home when the Lutzes bought it. Apart from the $80,000 offer, they paid a price of $400. As per some reports, the furniture exists precisely where they were on the night of the murders. 3. Ronald DeFeo Jr.'s story keeps changing. At first, Ronald DeFeo Jr. reported the mass murder to the cops himself. He said that after arriving home from work on November 13, he discovered that someone murdered his parents and two brothers and sisters. He even claimed that Louis Fellini, a mafia, may have carried out the killing. However, after investigations revealed that the murder happened in the morning, DeFeo said that Fellini held him at gunpoint and forced him to watch his family's killing. Soon, after a lot of scrutinies, DeFeo confessed, saying once I started, I just couldn't stop. It went so fast. During his 1975 trial, DeFeo said the voices made him commit the murders. Moreover, a psychiatrist in his defense diagnosed DeFeo with dissociative disorder. In which case, he must have seen the murder happen outside of his body and not as he was committing them himself. However, the prosecution psychiatrist claimed that he had an antisocial personality disorder. This means he must know perfectly what he did but showed no regard for right and wrong. DeFeo was charged guilty for the murders at the Amityville house and got sentenced to six life sentences. Once again, in 1986, the story changed. In an interview, DeFeo claimed that his sister Dawn shot their father. Their mother then murdered Dawn and the rest of the children. She then shot herself. However, in 1990 when DeFeo filed a 440 motion, he said that he shot Dawn after she murdered most of his family. 4. The Lutzes lasted at the Amityville house for less than a month. They stayed there for only 28 days. George, Kathleen. The three children and their dog left home on January 14, 1976. After one night that scared the kids, the Lutz's priest advised them to stay elsewhere the next night. Initially, they went to Kathleen's mother's home but never came back. In 1977, the Lutz's published a book named The Amityville Horror talking about their terrors during their stay. They sold 10 million copies till today. In 1979, a movie was made inspired by the book. It starred James Brolin and Margot Kidder. Filmmakers made several other movies based on Amityville. However, many experts did not buy the Lutz's story. In fact, their lawyer said that same, we created this horror story over many bottles of wine. It is a hoax. Daniel and Lutz, two of the children, claimed that he experienced a supernatural phenomenon. However, they said that most of the book's events are fictional and that their stepfather George was to blame. The owners after Lutz's bought the house for $55,000 and did not experience any strange happenings. 5. The Paranormal Photograph If you Google Demonic Boy, a popular image shows up. It was taken by paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren the ones from Conjuring, after the Lutz's left Amityville. In the photo, a boy with glowing eyes is seen peeping into the frame. Some believe that it was the spirit of John Matthew DeFeo, who was just nine when murdered. 6. There could have been a second murderer at the Amityville house who never was caught. We don't know this for sure, but according to the police at the time, there may be a second killer. It was the only way one could explain some of the mind-boggling aspects of the crime scene. 
Although it isn't proved that a second murderer exists, in 2012, a documentary filmmaker claimed that he had the evidence to prove the same. 7. What the crew of the Amityville Horror Remake said The DeFeo family killings took place at 3.15 a.m. Weirdly, several crew members of the Amityville Horror Remake began waking up at the same time, as well, including Melissa George and Ryan Reynolds. The house is no longer called 112 Ocean Avenue and is 108 now. Even though the exterior of the house has been refurbished, several tourists still visit it. No one really knows for sure as to what happened that ill-fated day. Whether haunting or not, it certainly was one of the most gruesome murders.